Welcome to Seoul, South Korea. This is such a unique city with ancient temples, modern music, incredible food, and of course, the tense border with North Korea. This is Gyeongbokgung. This palace served as the main palace during the Joseon Dynasty. So we're about to head in and watch the royal changing of the guard ceremony. It's a special ceremony that happens three times a day and it's about 20 minutes long. This place is huge. You could easily spend hours here just wandering around. The it's a beautiful place to visit. Just a few blocks from Gyeongbokgung Palace is Jogesa Temple, the center of Zen Buddhism in Korea. Inside, the temple is covered in beautiful lanterns, which symbolize wisdom because they bring light into this world. You know, England has the Buckingham Palace and the U.S. has the White House. In Korea, they have the Blue House. Looks very royal there, right in front of the mountain. From Seoul, I'm headed out of town to visit the infamous border that divides North Korea and South Korea, one of the most unique places in the world. Nowhere is the tension more palpable between the North and the South. Insidong is well known to both locals and foreigners with a mixture of traditional and modern atmosphere. More than 500 years ago, Insidong was established as an antiques trading post. When visiting Seoul, the North Seoul Tower, also called Namsan Tower, should be at the top of your list of attractions to check out. Beautiful views. Welcome to Korean food. The way of eating is very creative and something different. A little pork on a sesame leaf. With some samjong, wrap it up and eat it. After filling up on local food, get a taste for local entertainment at one of Seoul's many shows. One of my personal favorites is K-pop, which is so fun and so quintessentially Seoul. Wow, we've covered so much ground, from historic palaces to cute little neighborhoods, delicious food. Seoul has so much Seoul.